And for this next story, we ask for your patience. The Niagara Falls woman that you're about to hear from had difficulty telling her story because she was having a hard time breathing. Now, at the time of this interview, she was hospitalized with COVID as a patient. Her message, get vaccinated because she did not. Our Steve Brown has the story tonight. I'm, I'm doing a lot better than I was the days before. A lot better today. But you still look like you're struggling to breathe. Is that true? I am. I'm struggling to breathe. It was Caroline McCall's breathing that brought her to Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center on August 20th. I couldn't breathe. And the, it, just, it was just so unbearable that I couldn't breathe. And when I got here, they uh, took a swab test on me and found out that I was COVID positive. Did that frighten you? Yes, it did. And that I have on both of my lungs. Uh, it's bad on both of my lungs. Uh, I have to ask you about vaccination. Did you get vaccinated? No, I have never been vaccinated, never. And that's the common factor and the hospital's recent COVID cases. Our infectious disease team has been tracking all the COVID patients since the start of this year, once the vaccines were rolled out. And we've seen, I would say, 97% of patients who are hospitalized have been unvaccinated. Vaccination rates in Niagara County have lagged behind the statewide average. The biggest push for the county public health department is three zip codes in westernmost Niagara Falls, all with substantial African-American populations, which have the lowest vaccination rates among racial groups in the county. If you get vaccinated, it doesn't mean you'll never get COVID. What it means is you will be less, uh, have an illness that's less severe. Your chances of being hospitalized are reduced. Your chances of death are greatly reduced. We did ask McCall why she didn't get the COVID vaccines. I just didn't, I just didn't, that's all. I just didn't, no excuses. <laughs> For folks that have questions about the vaccine, the folks that might be afraid of the vaccine, what would you tell those folks? I would tell them, go ahead and get vaccinated because with me laying here today is no joke, especially when it came down to me and really breathe. I'm going to tell them the truth to go ahead and get vaccinated. Everybody have a mind of their own and they have choices in life. That's up to them. <sighs> That's up to them. I had my choice when I didn't do it, but now I see the consequences and behind it. And it taught me something. It taught me well. Uh, yes, it taught me. Uh, uh. That interview happened last Tuesday, August 24th. We were supposed to talk with McCall the day before, but her breathing was so weak doctor stepped in and postponed it. We end the story tonight with some good news. McCall fortunately did recover and got well enough to be sent home on Monday. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.